Thank you for joining me here once again. If you were jolted awake around 3 a.m. today, you're not alone. A magnitude 4.3 earthquake struck right in the heart of Berkeley, the uh, Bay Area, California, sending ripples across the region. Mary with Mary Greeley News. In the next few minutes, I'm going to be breaking down what happened, where it was felt, and the latest on damage or lack thereof. And why this spot on the Hayward Fault has experienced an edge. Stick around for tips to stay safe, and I'm going to dive into this. The epicenter, just east-southeast of Berkeley, near Dwight Way and Piedmont, or Piedmont Avenue, about a mile from UC Berkeley campus, only five kilometers in depth, or about 3.1 miles. So it was shallow and it would have been felt over a very wide area. Right smack dab under this house here. Oh, it looks like an apartment. Yeah, boy. So what kind of damage did you get? It was right underneath these two buildings. Let me exit the uh, street view. And yeah, yeah, the apartment building. Wow. Yeah, what did it feel like? My mother sent an email. Uh, she lives um, on the coast there in Daly City. Said it started out a quick little jolt, but it continued and got stronger and stronger. And actually, uh, yeah, made her a bit concerned. It's early here where I'm at. Currently, oh, a little bit after 8 a.m. I want to give a shout out to Larry, who bought me a cup of coffee. Thank you, Larry. I'm working on it now. So we got uh, 23,515 reports sent into USGS Did You Feel It website. Intensity level 4. Looks like it was felt as far north as Chico. Um, the farthest east. I can't see a name there. Let's see. What do we got? Stockton. Okay. And as far south. Yes, no name there. Let me zoom in. Maybe we can see the location. Looks like Carmel. Carmel by the sea. Yeah, did you feel it? Did you have damage? Let me know. Put your comments down below, please. How long did it last? A shake alert notification did go out, but the quake alert uh, didn't arri arrive until the shaking had already started. This just isn't any tremor. It's a wake-up call from one of California's most active zones. Here are some of the reports that were sent in to EMSC. This first one is from Berkeley. Woke me up from my sleep. I felt as if the bed was moving and I had a sensation of floating. Wow, this is the biggest earthquake I've ever experienced. But I realize now how close I am to the epicenter. Wow. Big jolting. Woke me up and could see walls and ceilings shaking. Went on for a bit and stopped. Got me out of bed. Uh, got up the kids and stood in the doorway. But no aftershocks. Woke them up. These are all from Berkeley. Loud rumble. Car alarms going up. Items moved on shelves. It was a jiggle. Then a rumble rolling. Shook for a couple of seconds. Emeryville. Uh, it says it woke them up from their sleep two miles away from the epicenter. It was a big one, but wasn't too scary because it passed quickly. Quite a roller in um, Albany here. Or they got Berkeley. No damage, but shook hard enough to make me remember safety protocols. One kid woke up scared. Other kids slept through it. Piedmont. Felt my whole building shake for a few seconds, but nothing fell off the shelves or broke. Well, that's good. Strong, up and down, sideways movement for two to four seconds. Okay, another one from Emeryville. Strong, powerful swaying of the entire building. I don't know if you can see it here, but I do have the fault line drawn out. It's really faint. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go in and fix that. There was also reports from Santa Rosa in the north to Santa Cruz in the south and as far south as San Jose in the East Bay. 
packed a punch. Berkeley resident described a strong jolt that set off car alarms and rattled homes. Oakland felt it hard. Viewers in San Leandro said their room swayed. And across the Bay Area, folks posted uh, about beds rocking and dishes clinking. Uh, one user on X in Berkeley tweeted, That was probably the strongest earthquake I've ever experienced. KTVU newsrooms even shook during their broadcast. South Bay sports like uh, Sunnyvale and Fremont got, got light rumbles. And Contra Costa counties reported moderate vibes in places like Pleasant Hill. If you felt this or heard it, uh, please send a report to USGS Did You Feel It website. Um, yeah, your reports, or put them here. Um, helps scientists, you know, track down, get more information about what's going on with this fault because it is overdue for a very large earthquake. BART, their rapid transit system, is running without hitches. A few stories in Berkeley and Emeryville saw minor products spilling from shelves, like toppled cans and jars, but nothing structural. This earthquake did hit smack on the Hayward Fault. One of the Bay Area's most dangerous faults. It's a strike slip fault, grinding the Pacific and the North American plate past each other at about 0 0.2 inches a year, slow but steady. It runs about 52 miles from Fremont to San Pablo Bay, and it slices right through the UC Berkeley, yep, the uh, Memorial Stadium built over it, and other dense Bay Area spots like the Oakland Hills. The last big one, well, that was in 1968, which occurred as a magnitude 7. It wrecked downtown San Leandro. USGS warns a repeat of that earthquake. Uh, probably would kill about 800 people, injure 18,000, trap 22,000 just in elevators, and need 2,500 rescues. Um, they say there is a 33% chance of a magnitude 6.7 rupture by 2043. Um, that That is higher than the San Andreas risk assessment. Now, the Hayward Fault runs into what they call the Rogers Creek system. It has a 72% shot of shaking in the region hard in the next 20 years. And preparation does matter. Liquefaction zones near the bay could turn soil into soup all along here. So if you have a large one, remember, drop cover and hold on. Bolt heavy fit furniture. Stock up on, you know, everyone should have a go bag with water, medicine, and a phone charger. Um, you can also sign up for My Shake app alerts and check California hazard maps. Uh, for your zone, and those in the Bay Area, we you you may have shook it off this time, but stay vigilant. Any earthquake does have a ten percent chance of being a foreshock for something much larger, and that could happen even a month from now. If you felt it stronger or saw something, you know, fall and break, or maybe some cracks or movement in the road, put a comment down below. Um, always stay safe. Always be prepared. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. As I have reported before, right now, the AI, which has taken control of YouTube, is uh, mistakenly unsubscribing people, not sending out notices. Once again, please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.